What's up everybody, welcome back to Last Day on Earth in update 1.11.5. So this is an update that is currently, at the time of recording this, only available as an alpha build. However, the devs have been kind enough to let us post videos, etc. of it before the update comes out globally, which is awesome. And this, this is an awesome update. This is really good. So I'll read through the patch notes quickly so you know what it is. Radical changes will impact every survivor. The character upgrading system has been completely overhauled. Exploration experience has been removed. Now, with every level reached, you will be able to select a skill. Choose skills you find most necessary and develop your character in your own sweet way. You can also whisk dust from your 99th level. Level cap has been increased to 200. So what that means is they've removed the old skill system where you earned exploration XP in zones. And they've replaced it so that every time you level up, you get one skill point and you get an option of three different random skills that you can apply it to. So, and now you can level up to 200 to max out all of the skills. Updated skills. Motorcycle driver, ATV driver, cold survival, focused and camouflage master skills have also been ruthlessly removed. They are replaced with new skills, for example quick step, which allows you to move faster in sneaking mode, or strict diet, pushing hunger away. Now, it doesn't look like I can scroll down or click on the screen at all, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, Nox has completely crashed. Right, and we're back in, and I think... There we can scroll. Changes to experienced players. Survivors with many skills are unfortunately to lose some of them. Only your active and rarest skills have been transferred to the new upgrading system. If you have already reached level 99, prepare to get 99 points to allocate across the new system. So, what that means is, if you are level 99 but have not learnt any of the rare skills, you will have 99 skill points. And for each one, each of the rare skills that you have got, you'll get one less skill point. So, for example, if you have the extra pocket, you will only get 98. There's also, of course, the trader, the um, dealer one as well. Oh, and here we are, select skills. So, this is our skill selection screen, and as you can see, I am level 100. Right, so you get hungry 2% slower, bandages restore 2% more health, and you can pick locks 7% faster. I've got 96 skill points, I'm going to go for this one. Right, heal over the course of 2 minutes, toxic spitter, 4% less likely to stick to you, definitely want that. Health has increased by 2. 2% chance for rare loot when searching locations. Um, pick locks a bit faster. So we've got quite a lot of skill points to allocate here. I think what I'll do is shut off my mic in a second. We'll see if we can get... Ooh, get 5% more experience. I'll take that. Movement speed on the map is increased by 3%. I'll have that as well. Roll! Here we go, we've got our first active skill. Enemies cannot damage you while you are rolling. So this is the roll that they used in the announcement trailer that you could get away from the um, floater bloater and toxic abomination slam thing. So there we go, we've already got our first one. And another 10% more experience. Um, heal over the course of 2 minutes from relaxing at base. 2% chance to get an extra log when chopping down an oak tree. Let's go for that one. 4% chance. Ah, definitely going to be going for the rare loot here. Health has increased by 6. So I believe now also they changed the bruiser skill so that you can get 140 max health instead of 120, which is awesome. That is going to be so useful for fighting the bosses. Um, let's go for Toxic Spitter Spit because I hate getting made smelly when I go out to do the raiders tasks. Ooh, here we go, we got our first raiding one. 1% 1 less noise when breaking walls and furniture. Nice. Uh, Chuskit High Anchor Puppy, Copper, we're going to have to go for the Pine one there. Unfortunately, that we can't pick from all of the skills and select which ones we put our points into. Which is a bit of a shame, but it's not the end of the world. Ooh. Hack complex computer terminals. 50% more experience, or get thirsty. So I've got to go for the hacker one. Because just in case they add that update in and I don't have the skill, I would be really annoyed. Um, Bruiser, health has increased by 10, so we're already up to 110 health. Uh, let's go for that one again. Get thirsty, 2% slower. So some of the other YouTubers have been saying that maxing out 
the thirst and water skills is amazing. It's a massively noticeable difference. There we go. What could we keep going for? Keep getting that same one for raiding. There we go. Already got 112. Temporary buffs last 6% longer. Oh, I'll take that. Um, 14 health. Nice. Uh, heal over the course of a minute. Let's go for the pine log, I think. Self-healing, there we go. We've got another active skill. You can heal yourself without using food or medicine. Definitely taking that. 15% um, more experience or health increased by 16. Got to do the bruiser. There we go. Now we got that one. Um, let's carry on going for the logger. Uh, bruiser again, up to 18. Up to 20. Nice. Now, see, we keep getting the um, winter ones. I never go to the winter zone, so that one showing up is a complete waste for me. Right. Ooh. Okay, so this is one of the new skills I've added in. Burglar. You can pick simple locks. So I think this is hinting at one of the upcoming changes to raiding. Because I'll see if I can find the screenshot and put it on the screen now, if I remember. There's a good chance I won't remember this when editing. But one of the devs... Well, one of the community villagers, Vigilante, told me that they are think well, they're planning a complete rework of raiding, but they haven't got a planned date for it yet. So I'm thinking maybe we're going to be able to pick locks at bases instead of having to either smash boxes or smash down doors. And if that becomes a thing, that'll be awesome. Um, How puppy? Uh, heal over two minutes. Might as well have that a little bit. Ooh, movement speed on foot on the map has increased six percent. 4% less fuel. 4% less fuel. Got to do that one. Ooh, okay. Get away with being stunned 10% faster. Withstand toxic... Oh, so this one's a new one as well. Get away with being stunned 10% faster. Uh, temporary buffs last 12% longer. Uh, strict diet. Keep going for that one. Go with strict diet again. Keep going with careful. Walker, there we go, now we got that one. Uh, got some food restores 2% more health. Now that one's not going to be that useful for me. I'm still going to go for the Neat Freak. Camel, definitely want that. A bit more water retention. Pick advanced locks, there we go, let's get that. So there's three tiers to that. And I believe the next one is the Masterful. So I'm guessing we're going to be able to pick twig walls, wooden walls, and stone walls. If we're incredibly lucky. Um, damage you get from explosions reduced by 5%. Interesting. Maybe if we max that out, then when the exploder blows up, it won't one-shot kill us all. Um, might as well get that one. Medic, that is just... Uh, definitely go for the strict diet one here. Uh, go for lumberjack there. Logger. Dog level, 5% chance... Higher chance to find a puppy. I don't need more puppies, but I could do with not getting thirsty all the time. Perfect. Twice in a row. Quiet gunner. 2% less noise when killing enemies during attacks. I use silenced weapons. So that doesn't have an impact on me. Toxic spitter. 20% less likely to stick to you. And that is it. Maxed out. That is perfect. Right. What do we want here? Uh, so surfaces that slow you down 5% better. Nah. Let's go for the camel. Hmm. Heal over the course of... Four minutes. Relax at your base. That was two minutes before. Why is leveling it up increasing the time? Let's see if that goes up to six minutes. Six uh, percent less noise. Twelve percent. Yeah, definitely got to go for the raiding one. Hundred percent go for the raiding one. Yeah, so it's gone up to six minutes. Why is it doing that? Let me um go have a screenshot of that. I'll post it in the bug report a bit later on. Hmm. Burglar. You can pick master locks. So I'm hoping that is either going to be. So we don't have to smash chests in order to raid the base, or we don't have to smash walls. Because if I could just pick a wood, a stone wall, that'd save me so much C4. Now let's go for that one. Careful again. Go for the walls. Strict diet. Oh. Strict diet. Build it. You get more resources for breaking down walls in your base. Why didn't I? Oh, I wish they had added this in. Before I ripped apart all of those steel walls to rebuild my base. Oh, that's painful. That is very painful. 
Uh, let's go for that. Might as well. Keep going for the careful. Uh, let's get the home body one. Impregnable. 10% less damage. Camel. Dog lover. Careful. Got to keep going for the raiders one. There we go. We've actually maxed out the raider one now. 18% uh, hunger. 15% explosion reduction. I'm going to go for the explosion reduction. 4%. Uh, I suppose we can put one into the medic. That was our first one there. Home body. Camel. 16%. There we go. So we've got them both up to 18 now. Let's get that one again. Uh, logger. Ooh, let's go for camel. That's getting so close to being maxed out. Good memory. Temporary buffs. 18% longer. Sounds getting good. Movement speed increased on map by 9% or max out the camel. This one's a rare skill. We've got to go for the rare skill. Uh, biker, 8% less fuel. Strong legs, bandages. Let's get that one maxed out. And this is our last skill that we're going to get. And no interest in any of these. Let's go for that one. And there we go. So if we now look here... We've got self-healing, roll, sprint, sneaking, auto. So we still haven't got animal friend or look around. I need to sneeze. And I'm back. So now if we look in here, we have lost so many of the skills we had maxed out. For example, this one, the robber one. My favorite skill from raiding. And we haven't got it maxed out anymore. So yeah, we have lost quite a few of our good ones. But... If we look, you get hungry and thirsty, 16 and 18% slower. Yeah. So it's pretty good overall. I am actually happy with how this turned out. I might have to try demolishing a wall to see what we get from it. Right, let's load into the base and take a look around. Because I believe I can also show you what they have done with skill magazines for those that had them left. Oh! Attacked by a survivor. This side thieves haven't left any footsteps. Did they... Hmm. Okay, so I forgot to put anything back in there. No, my threat of attack has gone. That was 14 days. However, we have got one raid lined up, so we will possibly be doing that later in this video. Undecided as of yet. I still... Oh, yeah. I probably... Sh uh, yeah, I was away when I fixed this. Well, not fixed it. Completed it. The shotgun, heavy barrel, the spread shot. Finish that now. It was just the one factory, I was wait factory part I was waiting for, and I got that whilst I was away for a few days visiting family. So now, oh yeah, got a floppy disk as well. Right, so these diaries here, I believe they now, it's 20 of these diaries to level up once. Have they put anything new in the store to. Okay, so they've added just straight up experience that you can buy. That, wow. £2.89 and it doesn't even give you an entire level. What? That's... I think that is horrific. Um, now it... Uh, that's double XP for two weeks for £27. Right, I need to sneeze again. Right, I am back. I do not know why I'm sneezing so much. So, these were the previous Explorer Notes book things that you could find. They are now just Survivor Notes. And 20 of them will grant you one level, which I think is very, very unbalanced. However, all of the YouTubers combined, we are appealing to the devs to see if we can get them to either offer a complete refund to all of the Explorer Note packs that people bought, which I think is 100% completely fair, or send them all some form of compensation for everything. Oh, let's text any... I'm, I'm, uh, oh yeah, you can't see this. I've accidentally opened up the menu that edits all the keyboard controls. Okay, good. Right, so we've got level up available. Let's take a look. So we're now level 104. We've got four. <gasps> take a look around to get a view of the surrounding area. I wanted this for so long. Let's get that. That is going to help so much with Raiders tasks because you can look around the entire map. And let's max out the logger. Let's boost the Lumberjack once more. And our final one, Robber. Raiders are 4% more likely to show your base with lots of loot. 
There we go. Right, we have got to test out this look around skill. There we go. And self... Oh, we can't have look around and self-healing. We can have sprint and sneaking. Oh, that's annoying. So, they're on the opposite sides. Oh, and for some reason, the look around has got a cooldown on it. Interesting. Not sure why it has that. Right, I think whilst we're waiting for this stuff to go, we should probably get ourselves this floppy disk so we can even head out on that raid. Because why not end this off with a nice raid? Now, what I'd like to do is be pretty central in my base and then use the look around thing. So if we do this here, and now... Oh, is that all it... What? Oh, they've nerfed it. You used, I swear you used to be able to look around the entire area and you could move around. Oh, that's a shame. So all it does now is zooms out so you can actually see the um, entire minimap zone. Oh, that's a shame. I wonder why they changed it. Right, so look at that. We can see the chests in that corner. So if we do that, yeah, it literally just zooms out to show you what it would be like if you had the mini-map as your full map. That's a shame. Right, let's go get a floppy disk. But, yeah, I really like the new changes to the perks. I think it is definitely, definitely needed. But I think it is still a little bit too RNG, although they have, thankfully, gotten rid of the ATV skill, the chopper skill, Cold survival, so you can get to the north now. This is good. And camouflage, so you're no longer less likely to be raided. Right, I need the bunker code in order to get inside. So let me grab that quickly. 74170 for anybody that needs it. There you are. Oh, I've just realised I've been playing this whole time without any game audio. So this video might have been a little bit dull for you all. Ah. Oh. There should be game audio. Let's check my volume mixer. Hmm, curious. I have no idea what's going on. Although, to be fair, Nox has been incredibly dodgy at the moment, as you saw by how it crashed multiple times. So, what do we want? 74170. Because I have a terrible memory. There we are. Alright, so we're just going to go straight down, chat to this... Well, not even chat to the specialist, because I've already got the floppy disk. Oh no, I forgot to get all of my stuff from the ticket crates. I brought a ton of guns and everything with me f to do hard mode, and I left them in there and the bunkers reset. Oh dear, that's... Hey, we leveled up! You know what? That there, that is another skill. What are we going to go for? Lumberjack, copper miner, skinner. Let's get lumberjack, because I'm okay. And if you didn't know this, I sleep all night and I work all day. It's actually more the other way around. Work all night and I sleep all day. Right. Let's go over to the floppy location. Hopefully we won't need to fight anything there. We can just sneak and get the floppy disk box. And maybe even show off what the new infected box looks like. That could be fun. So I was just looking at my inventory and I've seen something. Survivor notes. Valuable survivor's diary and survivor notes. So I believe the valuable survivor diaries, there was it, these ones here, they will, the um, winter survival skill. Now, that hasn't leveled us up. Okay, so even the valuable ones don't grant a whole level. That's a shame. I guess we'll be able to see how close to a level we are. So we know we did just level up a second ago. And yeah, it's put us... Three quarters of the way. Okay, they are definitely aggroed on us. I have got no meds. I've got no weapons. Let's grab a Glock. And let's just shoot. There we go. Now, if only I had the task to kill Toxic Abominations, I can never time to open in floppy disks, right? Ooh, okay, right. So I'm going to try and sneak around, see if we can find the box without having to fight much more. There it is. Hey, and there's a puppy as well. Hey puppy. That's a boy one. I don't particularly mind if we don't get that one. 
because I've got so many male puppies. This takes ages to open now, I swear it was never that long before. Okay, this is a nice one. This is one of the nicer floppies I've seen in a while. Grenade launcher, circuit, two steel plates, full SWAT set, a VSS, two C4, decent amount of medkits. And you know what, I'm going to swap those beans for that copper ore because I can give that to raiders. Right, let's um, equip some bits quickly. Uh, let's grab the paint. And can I stick, I suppose I can actually stick puppies in my bait box, can't I? Let's delete that lens. I'll probably regret that later, but it's fine. Right then, I think we should go raiding and even try out the new shotgun spread thing on the raid. Alright, welcome back. Sorry about that. I was summoned to go and kill a spider. Admittedly, it was a very big spider. I didn't want to go near it. I just grabbed a folder and crushed it to the wall. Apologies if any of you like those horrible little crawly freaks of nature. Right, I need some decent armor on. Because I'm hoping this will be a good raid. That'll be the plan at least. But I don't want to have that good armor on. And, of course, we've got these two steel plates as well. I can probably show you what I've been doing base progress-wise. It has been going very incredibly slowly. I miss having a nice stockpile of steel. If you look in here, we got 20... Huh. It seems to have actually gone backwards. Yeah, okay, so it looks like it hasn't actually saved anything that I did when I was away. Well, that's... Fantastic, because I upgraded this wall and this wall both to steel. And it skipped back to before, well, when I'm 14 steel short. That's a little bit on the annoying side. But oh well. Hey, shira, shira, whatever will be, will be. I could do with some hatchets to take out on this raid with me. That is not hatchets. Hatchets are not in there either. I think I'm going to have to make some. Wait, have I? I should have hatchets in my inventory. Yeah, got a load of hatchets. Let's get stone ones, though. So let's grab that. Uh, let's grab that. Have I not got any pine wood? <laughs> I have four pine in my whole base. Okay, well, that is going to have to do, I suppose. Perfect. Right. Um, I want to grab a shotgun so I can put the super special mod on that. Oh. I will have, hopefully, in editing, like post-editing, whatever, gone through and actually added in a bit of music in the background because I cannot get the game sound working. No idea why. Let's load the preset. Let's change that to that one. Boom. Perfect. Let's go reading. Uh, have I got any recycled steel? No, of course I haven't because that's rolled back to the before I got three steel bars in there. Oh well. Not the end of the world as I've said. Right, so we didn't get a revenge raid so we need to just head out like this. Skip that one. Complete. Perfect. We'll talk when you finish. Okie dokie then. Right, this should be empty apart from the C4. Perfect. I'm going to take that petrol so if I find a stack I can slot it in there. Stop closing the door all the time. I'm right here. Now we've got our active skill shotgun, we've got a VSS, and we've also got a modded M16 as well. Right, let's see who we're going to raid, and if it's even a base we can raid. Right, where are we going? We are going player 7629. That does not bode well. Normally bases that just have player in the name turn out to be the beginning starter base. But we can hope. If it is the beginner's starter base, I'm, mm, I might break in. I might not. I probably will. Ooh, okay. So they've got something going on here. Ooh, okay. That is a very nice donation. Thank you. Now, let's see if... Okay, well, this person's hacking. They've got their ATV right on the floor here. That is not something that you can do. And their chopper as well. Okay, so they haven't completed their chopper. But they've got 200 engine parts in the ATV. Okay, yeah. I'll believe that. Right, so we're going to break in through that little central wall there. 
Let's actually drive our chopper a little closer. Ooh, I wonder. Can I actually line the chopper up? So, oh wait, I don't want to line the chopper up first. I'm going to want to do that after blowing up a wall. Otherwise, I'm going to trap myself in there and not be able to escape. Let's make sure that is on the correct wall. I believe it is. E it was. Oh, and it was just honeycomb. Alright, well, we got one more. I'm thinking we go straight this way. That's our only chance here. Hey, there we go. Now we are going to have people coming to kill us. Let's see if we can line them all up together. And boom. That was nice. So that just took out half of them all in one shot. And he just walked straight through the spike walls. Let's switch back to that so we'll be able to use it when the cooldown comes off. Right, now, this is all we are going to get from this entire base. So let's hope something that's worth 2C4 is in here. I'm going to say that isn't. Now, if these boxes are basically empty, all that will mean is that this person is definitely hacking because the system removes hacked items. Alright, let's just get hit for a little bit. Wait for the others to come in. Let's wait for those other two as well. I know this means taking a bit extra damage, but I think it'll be worth it to go like boom and have all of them basically taken out in one go. Oh, see now, it didn't do any damage to the that floater bloater there. Well, that one, that is weird. Now, is this going to have anything in it? Okay. Run out of weapons. Can we grab just a hatchet from here? Perfect. And boom. Requires C4. There's the box. And empty. So yeah, this is 100% a hacker base. So it looks like they still haven't managed to fix that. All right, I'm going to end off the video there. That's... Ooh, you know what? Let's... Um, Let's go right into the center of their base. We can do this to get really nice screenshots for thumbnails now. Boom. Look at that. Perfect. Right. Hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.